Hello and welcome back to It's All Greek to Me. I am Penelope and welcome to my Greek kitchen. Today we are going to be focusing on Greek desserts and I have a real good surprise for you to start us off. Today we are going to be making a Greek yorgu. Done! Just kidding. Today we are going to be making a traditional Greek cake called vasilopita. A vasilopita is a traditional Greek cake that we make every new year. After the cake is done, we are going to take this quarter and wrap it up in foil. And then we are going to cut a hole in the cake and put the quarter inside. And whoever finds the quarter inside the cake gets good luck for the entire year. Boy, I hope Poseidon doesn't get this quarter in his cake this year. Before we do anything, let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Traditionally, Vasi Lopita is made from scratch. So let's look at all the ingredients that we need. We need some warm milk some flour, baking soda, eggs, melted butter, baking powder, lemon juice, and sugar. To start off, we are going to cream together two cups of sugar and one cup of butter. We are going to start by mixing this up on medium speed. We're going to mix this until it's light and fluffy. Once your mixture looks like this, we are going to start slowly adding small amounts of flour. We have three cups of flour here and make sure it's sifted before you start adding into your mixture. Our mixture isn't going to be that smooth. It's going to be a little bit mealy. After you're done mixing in all the flour, this is what it should look like. Wow, it's already smelling delicious. Next, we are going to add in six eggs, one at a time. It's really important that you mix these in one at a time. Now our mixture is starting to look more like cake batter. Next we are going to add one cup of warm milk. I asked my son Telemachus to do it, but he's not here. I guess he went looking for his father. Let's see if it's up to temp. Let's see if it's up to 110 degrees. Perfect. Next we are going to add two teaspoons of baking powder into our milk. and we're going to mix this well. Next, we are going to add our milk into our batter. We're almost ready to bake our Vasi Lobida, but first we have to add a half tablespoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now let's stir this into our mixture. We are going to be using a 10 inch round pan and make sure that it's greased really well. And to reward yourself, go ahead and lick the spoon. Mmm, it's delicious. Our Vasi Lobita is going to take about 40 minutes to bake. We are going to take it out after the first 20 and add some sugar on top. Next, we're going to set a timer for 20 minutes. Our first 20 minutes is done. Now it's time to take it out of the oven and add some sugar on top. Back in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes and then we're all done. Ah, uh, it's perfect. Our Vasi Lopita is finished. Once the cake cools down, we're going to wrap up this quarter and put it in the cake. Then we can serve this delicious Greek treat. While the cake cools down, let's take a look at today's sponsors. 
This week's episode of It's All Greek to Me is brought to you by Cyclops Security. When you want an eye in the sky, Cyclops is there for you. And by the Greek Baseball League, where Homer is king. Now that our cake's cooled down, we can hide the quarter in the bottom of the cake. I hope nobody's looking. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode of It's All Greek to Me. Join us next week where we're going to be making flaming sagalaki. <laughs>